Here I want to show you some soccer moves that you can actually use in the game. I've been doing a couple of these videos recently and you know I'm all about being effective. I don't care about fancy tricks. I want stuff that actually works in the game, the stuff that you can actually use. So today we're going to talk about that a bit. I got my friend Dawson here to help me out and uh, he's going to be the defender. He's just going to do passive defense so I don't want anyone on the comments saying this guy sucks at defending, that wouldn't work. We're just doing this to demonstrate, okay? So what I want to say first is you may not even need moves. Dawson, come right here, okay? Pace, using your pace. And when I say pace, I don't mean you have to be the fastest player on the field. You just have to use whatever pace you have. The problem is most players get in one-on-one -on -one situations and they try to do all these tricks and they might even beat the guy. But once they beat him, they go nowhere. They just jog past him and then Dawson comes back in front of me and now suddenly he either steals the ball or I have to beat him again and again and again and again, okay? You can just ghost past guys, just blow past them if you just use a change of pace, okay? So first of all, you may be making it too complicated in your mind. You may be thinking, I have to do all these crazy tricks when in reality, you just have to find the space and get there first, okay? So think about using your pace and like I said, you don't have to be really fast, but you have to use whatever pace you have. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is using the cut, okay? So I can take Dawson this way. When I wanna go that way, I'll just cut there. And it's very important that you become comfortable going both ways, left and right. Okay, so I cut here. I can cut right and I can cut left. Just look at this cut for a second. So I'm going at him. When he lunges for the ball, lunge for the ball. Okay, I'm cutting away and then forward. So I'm not cutting into him, it's not like this. Okay, I'm actually like, sometimes I'm almost going backwards. He's lunging for the ball and I'm coming there and then forward. Okay, I really like that one and I think that's something you use, should use. And again, it's about these effective moves. Okay, so once I do the move, whether it's a cut, then I have to use my pace. Don't jog away, sprint away. Okay, next thing you wanna use is the croquetta or inside outside. I use this one all the time, okay? So he lunges you for the ball. And again, so that right foot to left foot, but it's really quick. Again, it's not going forward. I'm not going like this into him. Come right here. Okay, again, I'm almost going backwards and then forward, okay? You can make this one work for you if you do it quickly. So again, to come at him when he lunges, When he lunges, quick right to left or left to right and then blow past the guy. Okay, the other one I use lots is a step over. And this is probably as fancy as I get. But come at him, whoa, and stumble and fall and embarrass yourself, okay? Everyone makes mistakes. If you make a mistake, just go again. Step one way, go the other way. Okay, but again, it's quick. If you just wanna practice, doing step overs on the spot. That might be somewhere you need to start, okay? But quick step, and then again, explode. Use that pace. Quick step, explode, okay? You can throw in a double, triple, but make sure after you make that move, whatever move you make, get away quickly. Don't just jog away, sprint away, okay? If you wanna use fancy skills, because I still want you to be creative, I want you to feel like you can have fun on the ball, and still be effective, you can do those skills. Just make sure you stick to the principles that I talked about. And that is once you make the move, get away. So once I make a move, I gotta get away quickly. And I'm not really demonstrating that in this very small space. Okay, but once I beat him, if I do do all these fancy tricks, then pace, pace past him. Just can grab that ball. Okay, so like I said, I don't really do too many fancy tricks. I might add a few different rolls, but no, I don't really worry about that stuff. I just worry about being very direct. Again, especially if you're a very skilled player, he's almost waiting for me to make a move. And a lot of uh, coaches or defenders will say that to him. They'll say, wait for the move, wait for the move, because they want you to make that move, and then they're going to tackle you. So if they're waiting for the move, and you're just, boom, just use your pace to get past them, you're going to have a lot more success in one-on-one -on -one situations. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped. I promise if you actually use those ideas in the game, it will make you better and you will have more success on the field. So thanks for checking out this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and come back tomorrow.